I'm Natalia Bonner. Welcome to Nine Patch Along block number one. Today we are going to be doing a bit of marking, so grab your mini four-in-one machine quilting ruler, your mini inside-out machine quilting ruler, something to mark with. I prefer the blue Mark Beyond marker. You'll want a tape measure or a rotary type ruler, something to use for your markings. After you've got all of your supplies together, then let's get stitching. Nine patch number one. This fun block is a variation of the superstar block that I designed for my stitch along Let's Stitch a Block a Day. Today we're going to be stitching that design on a nine patch though instead of a single block. I'll start out this block by using my mini four-in-one machine quilting ruler and a Mark Be Gone marker and I'm going to do a few markings. I want to find the center on all nine of my patches. So as you can see, I'm lining up my mini four-in-one machine quilting ruler and marking just a small increment. You could mark a line, but I like to just mark a small increment. Now I did go through with a rotary type ruler and find the center before I used my mini machine quilting ruler to mark out those lines. When you're using the mini machine quilting ruler to mark your center, you'll need to remember that the markings on this ruler are based off of needle position. So here I'm quilting on a four inch block. So I'm actually holding that ruler instead of on the two inch line, it's on the two and a quarter. It can be a tiny bit confusing. So I do recommend actually using a rotary type ruler when marking out your designs. Once you have those markings all complete, you're ready to begin stitching. I love the look of stitch in the ditch. So I am going to start out stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside of my block. If you're brand new to machine quilting with rulers, there are some basics you do need to know about machine quilting with rulers before you begin. Just a quick few things. You need to make sure that you're using the proper tools. I am using machine quilting rulers. Machine quilting rulers are different from rotary type rulers. They're thicker, their markings are different, and they are made to glide along a ruler foot. You need to make sure you also have a ruler foot and an extended base plate. All right, let's get stitching. I'm going to start stitching in that lower left corner. With this design, we're actually going to focus on just one block at a time. I think it makes it a little bit easier. So starting in that lower left corner, I'll stitch using the curve, the largest curve on the mini four in one machine quilting ruler. And I'm going to stitch from the lower left corner up to the top center. From the top center, I'm going to stitch down to the bottom right corner. Now I'm going to repeat this process. Every time, remember, corner, center, corner, center, corner, center. If you repeat that process, stitching corner to center, you'll stitch each of those points, finishing where you started. You'll notice here that I will switch back and forth between the four-in-one mini machine quilting ruler and the mini inside-out machine quilting ruler. Sometimes I just feel more confident using the mini. It feels a little bit more comfortable when holding the ruler towards my body. So I'm going to repeat that process again on each of these blocks, starting in that lower block and then working my way up to the second block, repeating that same process. So stitch from the corner to the center, back to the corner, from the corner, then I'll repeat that process, going to the center, back to the corner and repeating that process, corner, center, corner, center.
Now once I've stitched to the top, then I'm going to repeat that process and move down the center row of those blocks, repeating that process on all nine of my blocks. Now once I have completed each of those designs, I love the look of Stitch in the Ditch. So I'm going to finish off this design by stitching in the ditch along each of those seams. Because I am quilting on a custom panel here, I actually feel like it's even more important to stitch in the ditch. It just separates those panel pieces and really makes it look a little bit more like an actual pieced block. 
if you are working on a quilt top that you did piece, if you want to skip the stitch in the ditch, you can. It's just what I really love with my machine quilting. I hope you all found a bit of inspiration from this fun nine patch block. I can't wait for block number two.